Welcome back to part 2 of this video tutorial and in this one we are going to finish up the head like this. Okay, so this is where we left off our character in the previous video. I'll select the edge mode, select the edges on top of the head like so. I'll push E for extender. I'll drag it on top like that. T to move. I'll remove the sub patch. I'll select the edge mode. And then I want to stretch these out. And I want to straighten them. So you hold down control and pull down. Then I'll align them like that. E for extender and I'll drag it going up following the forehead shape. I will straighten these out a bit. As you can see, the shape of the forehead is not all that. So I'll just put some of these polygons in front. Select the edges on top and I want to straighten them. Okay, on the top view, you can just align them. Just make sure they make a curve like they're straight up. Okay. Like that. Looks much better. Select these edges, the top edges again. E for extender and I'll drag it going up following the forehead shape. Just bring it up to the top. Y for rotate. And let's continue. We follow the head. So Rotate that one as well. Let's put it here. Okay. Continue. Okay, so at this point we can save. Okay, this looks good. I'll move some of these points up. Then we'll continue, extrude, rotate until we reach the bottom of the head. Okay, I'll start by fixing this point first here. And I'll select these edges here. Hold down shift, select multiple polygons, push E for extender, T to drag out, and I'll push H for stretch and hold down control, stretch it like this make it straight and I'll position it like this okay so we'll zoom in select these two points here and merge them Control W. Okay, now on the back here, we select these edges and E for extender, T to move, move them like that, H to stretch them, make them a bit straight. And what I'll do is while we are here, I'll go to point mode and question mark to deselect those points and 
select these points here, push P on the keyboard to create a polygon. Make sure you've selected four points. Just the same on the other side here, push P, make sure it's four points. Okay, I'll straighten them up like this. So we can just select these points, push P on the keyboard to create a polygon, do the same thing going down, P, oops, I pushed, P on the keyboard, select these points, make sure they are in order, select these and P on the keyboard till we are done at the bottom. If you have polygons that look a bit hollow like this, just push F on the keyboard and you will flip them facing outwards. They are facing inwards. So don't panic like that. Okay, so we have this. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll select these. Make sure you're in polygon mode or edge mode. Select these edges straighten them up and let's bring them up because what i've noticed is these lines are actually bent so let's try to straighten these lines up let's bring it up like that okay drag this one up as well just straighten it up h to straighten it up e for extender drag it make sure it's in line with the edges that are in front okay so we still have these polygons here that are still facing inside oops there's one here that i did not put a polygon on so i'll zoom in and go in point mode select these points here and push p on the keyboard okay you might not see anything happening but if you push if you go in polygon mode you see there's a polygon there select all these polygons and push f to flip them the other side is just fine okay now to put polygons on the lower part so we zoom in, select these, oops, let's go in point mode, select these points, turn on symmetry, don't forget symmetry, make sure you're selecting them in order and push P, oops, I didn't select them in order, so that's what happens, select them in order, like that, and push P on the keyboard, so if they're not showing, just make sure in polygon mode and flip them. Push F on the keyboard. Same thing with the ones on the bottom. Point mode, select the points in order and push P on the keyboard. Go to polygon mode and push F. Okay, so we have the head like this. Except now we need to move the points one by one in order for us to get the round shape of the head so i'll start by selecting this edge and select loop and while i have this okay now i can see where the points are so i think i'll switch this to point mode i'll go to selection convert to point mode then i'll start moving these one by one so this process takes a long time so what i'll do is i'll speed it up and i'll show you once i'm done
after a lot of twitching your head should look like this so like subscribe and be sure to watch part 3 as we continue